Hi, I'm Andrew Wigney, the President and CEO of the Cable Ferret Company here in New Zealand. I'm the inventor of the Ferret Wi-Fi, a little wireless inspection camera and cable pulling tool that we're talking about today. And all electricians can use it for the, the quick look, pull down a downlight, have a little look around, see where the transformer is, see where the cable path could be. Uh, traditionally, people grab their cell phone, they, they put it up into the ceiling space, record, turn it around, and then have a look. The issue with doing that is while you're getting a, a recording to show you what's up there, you can't see which way it's actually looking to see what's there. So here, you can grab your ferret camera, even if it's in your hand, put it up into a ceiling space, turn it, see where a transformer is, see that it's safe, and then reach in. So all electricians will use it for that sort of thing. Different parts of the world, even different parts of the US, have different local regulations. In some parts of the US, you have to run your power cable inside of conduit. So the ferret's obviously not going to be used to pull through cable. Um, in other parts, you can run the low voltage ca uh, cable just across the ceiling space, nice and easy. So it, it does vary a little bit from state to state in the US and from country to country. We haven't found a location yet though where electricians can't use it. A lot of it's from customer feedback. Uh, with, the, with the short rod and the hook on the front, that was from the, the original inspiration into the product to be able to see a cable and pull it through but getting things like the magnet, the gooseneck, the thread adapters, everything was from customer feedback. Uh, people ask for something, they ask for a different thread adapter, we'll put it in. Um, they ask for a gooseneck to do a certain thing, we added that through. Uh, everything customer feedback. Even that charge cable is uh, USB type C because we had feedback with the micro USB, you can only put it in one way. It's always frustrating for people to use it. Uh, it is a difficult journey, it's an expensive journey and a, and a time consuming journey. I guess early on you want to make sure your product is actually needed. It could be the best idea in the world, but if people don't actually want to use it or they, they purchase it and go, well, yeah, it didn't really do much for me, hey, go and think, another, think up another idea. So, one, you need the feedback from the field that it is something that is definitely needed. You need to look at the pricing. Can you make it for the price while retaining the quality so that it is actually a valuable product for people and something they want to buy? And then it's, it's making sure you can engineer it with the quality needed. There's no point bringing something out that just will break or won't be quite fit for purpose. So if you can get those right, then you can start working through what's your method of distribution? How are you going to get it out to the market? And yeah, it is a long, difficult slog. If you've got a product you believe in, people like it, you can make it for the right price. It's just being resilient. Um, it, it took us many years uh, of just hard work, feet on the street, um, yeah, before you can actually start to make money and start to have a, a, a profitable business with some cash flow to enable you to then produce the next models.